Hello everyone, welcome back. It's another cryptic crossword today. I just couldn't help myself after having such a fun time with the last one and nearly solving the whole thing. Um, as always, I will remind you if you're, un I don't know, like who watches these isn't familiar with cryptic crosswords anyway? Maybe someday. Anyway, uh, this is the kind of English style crossword where each clue gives you the answer twice. There's kind of an invisible divider somewhere in the middle. You don't know where it is. On the left side, you get the answer once, and on the right side, you get the answer another time. Uh, one of those times, it's given to you as like a, an, a definition, although usually pretty oblique, uh, much more so than an American crossword. On the other side, some kind of wordplay, and these can be really strained, and you have to like learn the rules for what kinds of wordplay is allowed. And I'm like, I'm getting the hang of it, but I'm, I'm not there yet. Anyway. Um, and they also tell you if there are word splits. So this is a five letter word followed by a seven letter word. So retreats into drink looks very much like it's part of the word play. Like we're supposed to reverse a word that means soldier and write it, sorry, take a word that means soldier Re retreat with it, i.e. write it backwards, and put it into a word that's some kind of drink. And then maybe put a truant before that, and then the definition is not up to par, perhaps. Below standard. It doesn't fit. Below something though, right? Like something that's not up to par is under performing? I don't know. Summon Spanish gent boxing outside Dusseldorf. So are we looking for a word that means summon? Spanish gent would be like senor. Or maybe just SR, short for senor. And then boxing outside Dusseldorf. Oh man. Summon. You could call out something to summon it in a way. I don't know. Hmm. Japanese meal, well, okay, sashimi is a Japanese meal, includes large eastern drink made with ice. That sounds like a sashimi, right? Maybe? Well, maybe not. I briefly thought, like, slushy or something was fitting in here, but obviously it doesn't. So this is a Japanese meal. Also, it's Japanese, kind of. But I don't see what this has to do with any of these, the rest of this. So it could be like edamame, that's Japanese, right? Is there any way that that makes sense? I don't think so. Swear nothing's inside a car. So one possibility is that swear is the definition, and then we take something the word means nothing and put it inside of something that's a car. But I bet, I bet like a car is the definition. And then we take a word that means swear and put something that means nothing inside of it. Swear nothing's inside. But how on earth do you do that in four letters? Coop? That has an E anyway, right? Yeah. A vow? Ah. Ah, yes, that is, it's a vow, I see. Um, so to swear is to a vow. Nothing is an O. Um, as in, like, we won the game 1-0. -oh. 
Um, and this O is inside of a car, a VW is a car, and there's a nothing inside it. Okay, we got we got our claws in here a little bit now. We got a toe hold. Toe hold. Wow, I said that. Uh, toe hold. Do I normally like toe hold? Toe hold. Toe hold. Hold. Hmm. I think I, that first H was just like a glottal stop. I didn't make any kind of aspiration sound. Anyway, one way to get around kiss outside spa. So this sort of looks like one way to get around would be the definition. And then kiss outside, i.e. the letters going around a word for spa. One way to get around. It's two letters. Like this could be a cart or something would be a way to get around in a golf cart, for example, but obviously that doesn't fit. Hmm. Big Ferris wheel completed in, oh, I'm so bad at French, Lyon, broken by end of June. Okay, well, the end of June is the letter E. So we could take something and break it with an E, i.e. put an E in the middle of it. Completed in Lyon, you might say fin or fini to mean finished. Is this just the London Eye? That's a big Ferris wheel. Okay, why is it London Eye? Ah, I see. In. Completed, i.e. done, is inside, or is in, um, Leon, L-Y-O-N, but it's broken, i.e. spelled in the wrong order. And it's by the end of June, i.e. there's an E after it. So Leon broken, L-O-N-Y, is surrounding completed, i.e. completed is in that, D-O-N-E is in L-O-N-Y, and all of that is by the end of June, an E. Yikes. Okay, well, does this elf? <laughs> I don't think that's gonna be enough for me. All right, let's keep going. Dear Rev Spooner's rabbit intuition. <laughs> Um, is this somehow related to the, the, the a spoonerism where you like mix up the first two letter the first letter of two different words? I can't even think of any good spoonerisms at the moment. Let's look one up. Um, spoonerism. A verbal. You have hissed the mystery lectures instead of saying you've missed the history lectures. Okay. These are named after the Oxford Don and ordained minister, William Archibald Spooner. So it seems plausible that Spooner's rabbit intuition. So maybe we're supposed to take something like the words for rabbit and intuition, but mix up the first two letters of them, or the first letters of them. Like this should be a hair something. But then I swap the letters on it. I don't know. Runs through, that could be the definition, also so could runs. Underground network carrying potassium.
I mean, isn't like your your circulatory system is kind of a network carrying potassium? Because then, like, I feel like carrying potassium should be the definition. And then we could have runs, say, go through an underground network, like, if this were an English crossword, we would say the tube. Um, in American, I assume we would say the subway or some more specific one like the MTA in New York or BART in San Francisco. I don't know what sub, I'm sure Chicago has a subway system, but I don't know what it's called. And I think in LA, it's just, they call it the Metro. Is that right? It doesn't get used that much, I think. I mean, I lived there. You, you would think I know, but no one ever takes the subway, even though it does like exist and serve a few places. Whereas when I was in San Francisco, I did take the subway somewhat regularly. Runs through underground network carrying, I have no idea. Oh, also, also, oh, here's a thing. This could, it runs through could be the definition, as I said, but I couldn't quite see how this would, but, 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 potassium is the letter K, right? That's its atomic symbol. And so we could just have an underground network which has an extra K in it. It's carrying that letter. That could mean runs through. Like as in you you like you lance someone when you're a knight and you're jousting. You run them through. Usually that would be a sword though. Hmm, I don't know. Mind after football supporter giggled. Mind after football supporter. Well, football supporter is a fan, but I'm sure there's more specific words for that. Fan, I guess a supporter is a fan. I, I, I don't know. I'm like a fan base is a three, four and it fits, but I don't have, understand how it could make any sense. Some singers met an aria composer. Huh. It almost looks like a double definition where it's like an aria composer is a definition of like, you know, uh, I can't think of any composers of arias, but like, you know, Beethoven or something, right? Not an aria composer, but you get the idea. And then like some singers could also be a definition, but like met? Oh, maybe you just like, Maybe the wordplay is like some singers and it was like divas or something and then met. Just include the word literally met. I don't know. Risky venture. Art in backward places. Well, that definitely looks like the wordplay part. It's got an in, it's got a backward. I don't know exactly what backward places would be. Something that means places written backwards, of course. Towns? What do you get if you write towns backward? You get snwat. Doesn't seem very good, right? No place you can put art in there that means like risky behavior. <laughs> Sandwat? I don't know. Risky venture is a gamble, I guess. But that doesn't fit. A big bet? No, but it's it's a single seven letter word. 
Thrill the Soccer Fans, Whip Up Cooler Saga. The Soccer Fans, Whip Up Cooler Saga. Whip up could mean to write from bottom up, i.e. backwards. Cooler? I, I have no idea. There's probably an A or an I, though, in this one letter thing, right? It kind of has to be, like, right there is an A or an I. I don't know which. Let's just leave that in. So I remember, maybe. I think it's just going to confuse me more than having nothing there. <laughs> Thrill. Blank a blank uh, could mean thrill. Scare a dude. <laughs> um, church song that guy heard. Okay, heard probably indicates I'm supposed to mishear something, use a homophone instead of the correct spelling. Guy. A guy is a dude? Or a man? Neither of those have good mis mishearings. A church song is a hymn, I see, which you could hear as that guy, him, over there. Oh, you mean a hymn? Rubber pile heading to Europe. Heading to Europe. Rubber. No idea. Gossip about Torah repository needing better illumination. Well, a Torah repository is an arc. Something that needs better illumination is dark. <sighs> Gossip about, i.e. going around. Well, okay, I guess it could mean gossip about. And then a Torah repository could be the wordplay. So arc, and then we have a dark here. Something that's dark needs better illumination. Too dark? What does that have to do with gossip about, though? I don't know. Expensive rental document covers church racing event. A rental document is a lease. An expensive rental document? So covers church could mean that like it's over, it's like being spread around the letters for church, I think would be allowed. So we could have lease around the word for church. Um, sadly, I can't think of any good words for church at the moment. There's like temple or something, but. And maybe the whole thing means expensive or maybe it means a racing event. I'm not sure.
cafe offering short spouse first of items. Well, the first of items is I. And a cafe offering is something you might plausibly have a definition for. So offering short spouse. Yes, a spouse is a wife, one, one kind of spouse. And if you made that word short, it would just be with. And then you give that word an I from items, and you would get Wi-Fi, which is offered by cafes. Ooh, OK. Summon Spanish gent. Send for? I see. If you summon someone you send for them, we have Senor outside Dusseldorf. DF? I don't understand what the word boxing is doing here. I assume Dusseldorf is DF. What? Boxing? Is that just like also telling me it should go around or? Very odd. Virginia Republican with debts of different sorts. Well, VAR could be Virginia Republican with debts. Various? Yes, debts are IOUs, and of different sorts means various. Most reckless, she's taken in by double crosser. Most reckless. What is this L blank? Below average. I was close with below standard. I just didn't think of the right word to go there. All right, so why does this work? Not up to par, below average. A truant soldier is AWOL, yes. Retreats, backwards. Into drink, which is beverage. Simple enough, once you know the answer. <laughs> Sometimes they're not that simple, right? So. One way to get around KISS outside spa. Well, a bus is a three-letter word that's a way to get around. Out. Outside spa, KISS? KISS outside spa? I don't get this yet. Grouses about Albert's grum, gum being all chewed up. A two-letter word is a little bit unusual. Up can mean you write something upwards, that's fine. Grouses about, grumbles on. Grumbles at, I don't know. Does this make any sense with the wordplay somehow? Albert's gum. It actually looks like it has all the letters from Albert's gum and it's being all chewed up, right? Albert's gum is seven letters. A L B E R T S G U M. Yeah, grumbles at. Huh. 
I'll take it, I guess. Avoid sidetrack almost completely. Avoid. Avoid sidetrack. Dodge, evade, duck. You duck something if you avoid it. Like your responsibilities, for example. <laughs> um, sidetrack almost completely, though. Oh, almost completely could just mean to remove a letter from something. So maybe we're supposed to take a word from sidetrack for sidetrack and remove a letter from the end, probably. But I don't know that I can think of such a word, a five letter word for sidetrack. I don't know. The, or also, I guess, almost completely could, could, could completely mean the last letter of almost, just the T? Or the last letter of a word that means almost, like nearly? I don't know. The changes in trendy procedure. Is there like a trendy procedure that we could lift from pop culture, maybe? I don't think so. I think they kind of have to be tied a little more closely to dictionaries than that. The changes. Oh, oh, okay. Here, I think, is how the wordplay is meant to work. I don't know the answer yet, but I think... We're supposed to, changes is maybe indicating an anagram for the, and then we put that inside of a word meaning trendy, and we get something that means procedure. So hip, maybe in is trendy. And then we, we, we have those letters and we have to get something that needs procedure from it? I don't think that's gonna happen, huh? Hmm. Doctor set at ease about new Washington position. Actually, while I'm here, let's see if this makes any sense now that I have another cross for it. Runs through underground network. It ends with an S, which makes the idea that runs or runs through is is the definition part more promising. Still no real idea, though. Doctor set at ease about new Washington position. A Senate seat is a Washington position that happens to be six and four. I don't see how that fits with all the rest of this stuff. I do see at ease, though, at, well, a lot of the letters from at ease. It's kind of in the wrong order. If we got rid of those, we would have S-E-T. Ah! Ah! 
So doctor, I forgot, can be an anagram indicator to doctor some letters by moving them around. And set at ease, we could rearrange the letters of that. The only thing that's bugging me is new. Because set at ease is only nine letters. Oh, I see. And then new is just the letter N. We take the words for set at ease, scramble them, and put them around a word meaning new. And N, I guess, can mean new in some dictionaries. OK. Navy's try forged embassy authorization. Uh, might an envoy something be an embassy authorization? Hmm. I don't know. Endlessly see identical bagel choice. So bagel choice or bagel might be the definition. Or it could just be, I guess, part of the wordplay. And then endlessly might be the definition. I mean, what is a bagel choice? A topping? Locks? I don't know. Camper covered in seaweed somewhere in Portugal. Uh, poor camper. Uh, somewhere in Portugal. Are they asking me for the Portuguese word for somewhere? And what is covered in seaweed? Seaweed, like kelp, is kind of a classic seaweed. So we could take a camper and surround it with kelp and get a place in Portugal. That doesn't sound very good. I actually kind of think that is how the clue is structured, and I just don't know the right words for camper and seaweed. I think somewhere in Portugal is the definition. But I guess camper could be the definition, but then like covered in seaweed somewhere could be inside of a word that means Portugal. I don't know. That doesn't seem very good either. Scrutinize boy turning up outrageous wrongdoing. Turning up outrageous. So scrutinize or wrongdoing are probably the definition, one of them. A misdeed is a wrongdoing. I don't see what that has to do with scrutinized boy turning up or outrageous, really. Chum skipping university sitting in tree. Am I just dreaming this? <laughs> um. I mean, this doesn't have to be dark. Chum skipping university might be C-H-U-M minus the U for university. C-H-M sitting in uh, <laughs> sitting in what? An O 
oak is a tree. So we'd have C-H-M-O-A-K. The other thing is that it could just be like in, meaning like look at the following let words and find an answer. Am, like in, am I just dreaming this? We would need seven letters. Well, no. I don't know. Nothing could have a K. Ugh, I hate this. You stopped hiding boot. Okay, well, hiding kind of looks like part of the wordplay, right? And so then it would have to be stopped hiding something that means boot. Those are both very short words. How can you fit one of them inside the other? And get something that means you. I don't know. Swamp thing, mostly nonsense. Peat, I guess, is a swamp thing. More of a bog thing, really, but. Mostly nonsense. Hmm. The other thing is it could be like, mostly could be part of the wordplay telling you to remove the last letter of something or maybe the first letter of something. I'm not sure. I don't know. Oh no. We're, we've seen all the clues now. Japanese meal. Okay, well. Spooner's rabbit intuition. Row. Loved bunny. <laughs> I don't know what that has to do with intuition, but I see the rabbit there and it's deer. Runs through underground network carrying potassium. Still no idea on this. I have an E though? A three letter word that ends with E. Mind. The. She. Eight R someone who minds that if 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 they mind then they are something after football supporter Don't know. Still don't know this singer or aria composer thing. Although I guess it's probably an S at in one of these spots, like here maybe. Doesn't really help with this idea, I don't think. A camper is an RV covered in seaweed.
I don't know. What are like places in Portugal? Like Lisbon is there, right? Portugal cities, Lisbon, Porto, Coimbra, Evora, Aveiro, Lagos. None of those look like campers covered with RVs <laughs> or with uh, with seaweed rather. Yeah, no idea. Risky venture, still don't know. Thrill the soccer fans. Whip up, no idea on this either. Whip up, I guess could mean rearrange. Cooler saga is 10 letters. And we think an A or I goes here and there's no I in cooler saga. Okay, so let's open up a little word or text editor here briefly. Oh, whoops, what am I doing? That was the wrong uh, one at this. So if we had Cooler Saga, to put into four blanks, E, A, four blanks. We removed the E and A, we would have this. And it's supposed to mean thrill the soccer fans? Or it could just mean thrill and we're supposed to Make the wordplay be the soccer fans whip up cooler saga? Like, who are the soccer fans? I don't know. Let's, let's um, put spaces in here so it's a little clearer. And I, mm, actually, let's put new lines here and spaces in between so you can easily count how many there are. What can you even put here? Slag. Glore. I don't know. I don't have any good ideas looking at that. Rubber pile heading to Europe, still no idea. Still don't get this gossip about thing. Dish can mean to gossip about, right? But expensive. Re rental document. No idea. Not getting as far on this one without help as I did on the last, I think. Stopped hiding boot. All right, let's see if I've got all this right so far, and then we'll um, start asking for help. It's not dark.
I don't know. I now like I you know in could still mean like the answer is just you know seven consecutive letters in this. Well, there's only one n here, and so it would have to be m i n g t h i mingthi, which doesn't make any sense for a chum skipping university sitting. All right, where could I maybe get the most use out of an, a, a new letter? I'll need one here eventually, I suppose, right? One way to get around. Kiss. Well, okay, so one way to get around could be bus. And then kiss outside, spa. Kiss outside. What? Still totally baffled about that. S. Skewers. A sewer is an underground network and it's carrying an extra K just like I thought might happen. And to skewer something is to run it through. Bus cars? I don't know, this is bizarre. Bus pass is one way to get around. Kiss outside spa? B U S S mean kiss? Informal archaic, a kiss. Wow. Um, I suppose that's like a cognate with like in Spanish we have beso meaning kiss. Interesting. Uh, give me this letter. <laughs> I have no idea. I don't think this Japanese meal helps either, right? I don't think a Slurpee is a particularly Japanese meal. Oh, but it is a drink made with ice, is a Slurpee. I was thinking slushy earlier because it like kind of sounded like sushi. So what if we said Slurpee and then found a way to make the wordplay work? Japanese meal includes large Eastern drink. Includes large Eastern. L-E is large and Eastern, I guess. Surpee could be a Japanese meal I don't know anything about. I don't think this is right. Oh, it's a slushy though. It, I, ah. Is that right? Oh, slushy, like, is that how you spell it? I actually thought slushy a while ago. No. Sushi includes large Eastern. Huh. So actually my first guess was right and I just didn't think long enough to justify it. Avoid sidetrack almost completely. I still have no idea on that. Give me this letter. What? Well, this kind of has to be a vowel. If it were an A, we would have Shan, Van. I still don't know this. Shun. To shun is to avoid. 
and almost completely sidetrack, you could shunt something to sidetrack it. This is still baffling to me. Okay, this is like EST. I guess I should have checked that. Rashest. Yeah, so I just written in EST. I would have figured this out. Why? She's taken in SHE by double crosser? Is Rast some biblical figure or something? About double crossed? Um, I don't know. When I look up Rast, I don't find anything about that. It's like a medical test you can do. She's taken in by double crosser. Weird. This is correct, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, this is some kind of bunny, right? I did consider it might be bunny. Reverend Spooner's rabbit intuition. Oh, am I just supposed to know his first name? <laughs> I don't know. This is a weird one. Hotel Bunny. Something Honey? I don't know. Give me another letter. Honey bunny? What? That could mean deer, sure. Reverend Spooner's rabbit intuition. It makes no sense. Aha, because it's wrong. Honey bunch? Yes, I see. Because a honey bunch, if you spoonerized it, would be a bunny hunch. A rabbit intuition, you see? The changes in trendy procedure. Well, we could still put the in. Is any of that right? The. Oh, the changes, i.e. it's written weirdly, in trendy, I guess. Hot? What else means trendy? Hip? I don't know. What? A trendy procedure, I guess, could be like some dance that's popular on TikTok, I guess? Mind after football supporter giggled. Teeheed means giggled. Mind, you take heed of something if you take mind of it. <clears throat> Uh, 
A football supporter is a T, huh? Are they talking about like the position named like tight end? Or are they talking about you buy a t-shirt to support a football team or what? This like has to be a vowel, right? A E I O U. They all kind of suck. Give me this letter. A method is a procedure. I see. Oh God, mod. Yeah, mod meant trendy back in like the seventies or something stupid like that. Oh, or just mod as in modern? Ugh. I think that's why it meant trendy back then, but nobody says that anymore. All right, well, we got the top half eventually after a lot of help. Still no idea on this one. Camper covered in seaweed somewhere in Portugal. Still no idea. Uh, mm. Let me look up that list of cities in Portugal again. Because <laughs> I really like A blank G. I don't even see any of them that look like that. Oh, oh, it is. It's actually, it is the word for somewhere in Portuguese because ALG is like the prefix meaning unknown or something in at least Spanish and, and I assume therefore in Portuguese. I don't even know somewhere in Spanish. I know Alguien is Someone and alguno is something, as I recall. We have a G in Saga now. Goal. Oh, they love a goal. Score a goal? Yes. That's how you thrill the soccer fans. You score a goal. You stopped hiding boot. Don't know. What? I still have no idea. Oust is a word that fits here. But I don't see how it makes any sense. Give me one more letter. Is it really oust? It is. Why on earth is it oust? You stopped hiding. Okay, so boot means to oust, you stopped hiding. What? There's a letter U here. Maybe that could mean you. I don't know. Could be in some dictionaries. Or there's also like there could be, yeah, there could be a U, like the letter U, which stopped is hiding, if OST meant stopped somehow. Oh, I see. Hiding is telling me to look at these, these words next to each other and find the answer in them, and it's oust. Okay.
I mean, honestly, this is probably a U. But it could be an O, I don't know. Rubber pile heading to Europe. I don't know, give me this one. Sesame is a bagel choice you could make. Masters. It's not really a rubber pile or heading to Europe. What the hell is this? Some singers. An aria composer. This could be like an N or an R, probably. She's? Some singers are she's, like they're women? Is that right? No. It was an A. Well, great. S A E Satana, is that a thing? Smetana? <laughs> S Met An Could Aria be A? Some singers? Oh, like some of the word singers, i.e. the S in it. And then Met, An, A for Aria. Smetana is a composer, I guess. Yeah, check composer. Hmm, okay. Give me this one. An R. Rubber pile. Still no idea. E U R? It can't be Monsieur. Master? Is that a thing? I have no idea. Masur? What? Okay, so mass could be a pile. And like I see the thing here that looks kind of like Europe. What is heading? Where does that fit in? I don't know. I wish these cryptics would come with like a wordplay like thing where you, they explain the meaning, like how you were supposed to figure out the answers. Because some most of the time I get it, but sometimes I'm just like I, I see the answer, I still don't understand how I was supposed to get it. I kind of want to know about this one, actually. Chum Skipping University. Sitting in tree. Pensive? No, it's two letters. Two words. Okay. Art in a startup is a risky venture. Ah, uh, places as in to put something down, you place it down. Backwards places, backwards puts, and there's art in it. 
navies try embassy authorization. I, I have no idea how to involve navies here. Is it like, do they mean the color blue? Pinch me? Am I just dreaming this? You would say pinch me? But why on earth chum skipping university? Sitting in tree. Okay, there's the CHM, skipping university, yes, sitting in pine. So I, was, I, was, I had the right idea about CHM. I just didn't think that it could be like coming later because of the in. Oh, so it wasn't arc at the end, huh? Well, I guess I knew that, right. But is, is the Torah repository not an arc? <sighs> Darkish? Yes, dish is gossip. And that's where the about, oops. The about comes from gossip, i.e. dish, around arc. I had that idea, and I found arc, and I found dish, and I said about could mean to put one around the other, but I like did not put two and two together and actually do it. Empty? No, the T and P are backwards if that's the case. Huh. A swamp thing, mostly nonsense. Don't know yet. Scrutinize, scrutinize boy. Scandal? It's a wrongdoing, maybe? And then a lad is a boy turning up, and scrutinize is scan. Yes, and then an outrageous wrongdoing is a scandal. This long one is just brutal. All right, tell me about this. Oh, a visa, an entry visa. They, uh, they, uh, embassies would authorize you to enter the country with one of those. Expensive rental document. Okay, it's looking like the lease goes here. Swamp thing mostly. Nonsense. All right, let's see if I've gotten anything wrong yet recently. Yeah, lease was wrong. Huh. Well, give me this one as well, I suppose. Algurai. Okay, the rental document covers church racing event. Or covers church, probably, right? So while we have lease here, A A S here, oh, a steep steeple chase. Okay, let's work this out. Something expensive is steep. And then a rental document is a lease which covers a church, C-H. 
and it is a racing event. Swamp Thing, mostly nonsense. A croc, C-R-O-C, is a crocodile, which is a swamp thing. And nonsense is croc with a K. So if you had only mostly nonsense, it would be a C-R-O-C. Algurve? Algurve? Algarve? That is a place in Portugal, but not a city. It's a region. Okay. The Algarve, Portugal's southernmost region, is known for its Atlantic beaches and golf resorts. Okay. Well, I mean, this one was a lot tougher than the last one. I, I told you, though, it was really a phenomenal performance of me last time to do as well as I did. This is more my speed. What, I don't know. I guess I did a little worse than average here, but not a lot worse. It's still fun. You learn things. Honey bunch <laughs> is a bunny hunch. I like that. Okay, that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.